What is the real problem in Korea between North and South? Do the people have a problem with each other? No. The North and South Koreans speak the same language. It's the same people. And even entire families have been broken up through the separation. Well, then, what is the problem if it's not the people themselves having a problem with each other? Well, then the problem must be their masters, right? I'll tell you where the problem lies. South Korea is a horizontal rule republic of the NWO system, whereas North Korea is a vertical rule OWO feudal system led by one man at the top of the pyramid. And that's why South Korea is with the USA, which is the biggest and most powerful horizontal rule in the world, whereas North Korea incorporates the feudal vertical rule by this fat pharaoh on the right-hand side, who speaks Swiss German, gobbles Swiss cheese away as if he were not Asian at all, which in fact he isn't. Only pharaoh's nobility can organize this and be so organized to rule an entire country. So Kim Jong-un and his entire clan are, of course, pure pharaoh, pharaoh's nobility, who stick by the old pharaonic ruling system of the vertical feudal rule. Whereas the South Korean pharaonic rulers adopted the revolutionary new system of the Republican horizontal rule. And that's why South Korea is in the same group as America, the JJ Bays, and Western Europe. Whereas North Korea has teamed up with the Arabic nobility who want the vertical rule caliphate back. Therefore, North Korea is with China, which is a communist vertical rule. Therefore, North Korea is with Iran, which is a religious vertical rule. And North Korea has traditionally always been with communist Russia under Stalin, a communist vertical rule. And now with Mr. Lily Putin, also a vertical rule led by one man, with of course also an entire clan and vast vertical rule organization behind. So here you can see on the left hand side countries that support Hamas. Well, what countries do you have here? It says Iran, Russia, Syria, China, North Korea. And all of these countries, they are vertical rule. Just like Hamas, the caliphate, remember? Sham. It's an anagram for Sham, the same letters as Hamas. So Iran is a vertical religious rule. Russia is again a vertical dictatorship. Communist again. And Syria is a dictatorship. It's a vertical rule. China is a communist dictatorship, a vertical rule, and North Korea as well. On the other side, the countries that support the JJ base. Due to the censorship, I'm not allowed to pronounce this word apparently, otherwise my film get taken off. So United States is a horizontal rule. It's Republican and as they say, democratic, which is the same. Well, the democracy is what they do and the republic is where they do it. It's the same as these Americans, they have the you know, Republicans and Democrats. Well, Democrats is what they do, and Republicans is where they do it, which is basically the same thing. 
Ukraine, well, they want a horizontal rule, and they have that, apparently. They don't want to live anymore under a vertical communist dictatorship. Germany, it used to be a vertical rule with the emperor, with the German nobility, but now it is a horizontal rule. Well, France, that's where the idea of the, the horizontal rule in Europe, where it started with Marquis de Lafayette, the Knights Templars. United Kingdom, it is a um, constitutional monarchy. And with, to, with the, uh, the Order of the Garter, they make a, uh, an alliance, a compromise between horizontal and vertical. So that's why the United Kingdom, I call it, a, um, they can flip any moment. It's a flipper country, which we see with um, King, um, King Charles al Windsor bin Rabia going to all these, you know, dressing up like, uh, like in the caliphate, what he really wants, you know, of course. So, and on one side, as I've been telling you, you know, the world is dividing into vertical rule on the left hand side and horizontal rule on the right hand side he got the gestapo man the swiss gestapo man he speaks swiss german eating swiss cheese went to a swiss school and like all the aristocracy they all go to an expensive swiss boarding school like you know well he went to a normal school actually but uh, but in switzerland so it's not a coincidence that all the vertical rule countries are supporting uh, Sham, Hamas. All the horizontal countries, they are supporting the JJ base because this is the world, how the world is being divided up. And this is why we have world wars and a third one coming up. Russia is, of course, a flipper. Flipping over from Stalin's communism to a pretended democracy horizontal rule in the 1990s and early 2000s to back to a vertical rule feudal dictatorship in 2022 with the Ukraine war. Russia played America and Europe out by pretending to be a horizontal republic only to gain wealth to gather the West's scientific progress concerning arms technology and thus to gain power. Another potential flipper is Japan, where the Jap nobility would like to reinstall the empire back on the throne for the vertical rule flipping from horizontal to vertical again. And of course, North and South Vietnam was the same problem, where all local pharaohs who want to rule horizontally team up with America. And the other local pharaohs who want to rule vertically team up with communist um dictatorships vertical rules or with the caliphate vertical rule people have no idea what it's about neither these ones neither russians neither chinese neither the the, uh, the jaywalkers or the philistines they have no clue that all these wars are just wars in between pharaohs who want a vertical rule and other pharaohs who want the new horizontal rule. Countries that can flip over any moment are Turkey, Egypt, Jordan, Japan, and England, all having their pharaonic masters to reinstall the vertical rule feudal system. Of course, Britain's first step towards this goal was the Brexit, where Britain left the European community back to the isolationism of the insular feudal empire. Here, England betrayed America and Europe, just as Lily Putin did, and merely pretending 
in order to gain wealth and power. So here you see it says Brexit. Here's Europe. You see how it's loaded, you know, the vessel, you know, they gained a lot of wealth, just like Putin did. It's the same thing. Here it says Brexit, make Britain empire again. And the empire is the vertical rule. And the European community is very horizontal, you know. You're not ruling alone anymore, you know, it's horizontal. That all, all peoples from all the European countries that are in, in Strasbourg and Brussels. And they rule together, which is horizontal. So this is what's going on. And Putin, he did the same thing, you know, making, using the European community to gain wealth. Britain did exactly the same thing. And then they left. And, you know, in order to become uh, vertical again. Now you will see the same thing happening in, uh, with, uh, in, in England. And uh, but then this vertical rule is going to be a caliphate, and Brexit was the first step. And here's what it says make Britain empire again, it's exactly what it is. Pharaoh's nobility rules the entire world, whether they are horizontal pharaohs or vertical pharaohs. But they just have that internal quarrel over it about exactly how to rule. And Swaziland is Pharaoh's base for both the vertical rulers as well as the horizontal rulers. It's the neutral base of the master race. And here you see a few weeks ago in February 2024 in the JJ base. They're all walking around with Swiss flags because uh, Switzerland banned uh, Hamas for five years. It says in the uh, Jay Walker letters here in the um, JJ Bays, as you can see the flags here and here and here. And here it says, we love, and then you get the Swiss cross, we love Switzerland. Well, God's chosen people, they're quite blind because they can't see how they're getting duped and how they're being fooled by the Swissies who financed Hamas, who invited them into parliament. You know, it's just a very smart move, you know, to ban them and only for five years, you know. I mean, the Swissies done everything they needed to do and it doesn't have any more meaning to ban them now, you know. It doesn't make any more difference, you know. So here you see the whole street, you know, full of Swiss flags. And God's chosen, they apparently, they've got a short memory as well. They don't remember how Hitler's gold went to Switzerland, how Hitler was in Switzerland in the uh, Villa Schoenberg. And, uh, how the Nazis were financed out of Switzerland. You know. uh, I don't think God's chosen will ever open up their eyes, you know. I don't think so. And how else other than through the vertical and horizontal system can you explain that Germany and Japan teamed up in World War II? Two civilizations so far away from each other that had absolutely nothing in common. Well, both the Emperor of Germany, William II, and the Emperor Hirohito of Japan wanted their vertical rule back of an all powerful aristocratic feudal system, both in Japan and in Germany. And here today, you can even see them together. You know, the Japs with uh, swastika flags and uh, the flag of the rising sun. And they're fighting in the Ukraine as well, which is kind of weird because uh, Ukraine, 
once the horizontal rule, a, a, a Republican democracy. And this is the flag of the empire. So, well, these guys don't even know what's going on, you know. And um, so, of course, the sun, you know, this is the rising sun. What is this? Well, it's Amun-Ra. It's Ra, the sun god. It's pharaonic, as I told you. The entire nobility of the entire world, they are pharaohs. You know, it's the same thing as in ancient Egypt. And this is why, you know, the Japs and the Germans, you know, with completely different civilization, you know, the, the people never had any friends, you know, and like Germans didn't have any Japanese friends and Japs didn't know any Germans personally. So how, the, how did it happen? Well, it's our masters who made it happen, you know, because they both know they are of pharaonic descent. And the dumb slaves, you know, they're doing this today, you know, the same teaming up Germany with the empire. So this is the flag of the empire, you know, and this at that time was the German empire. So this is the rising sun, it's Amun-Ra, and also this, I told you, this is a, comes out of a pyramid. You know, just watch my video. So it's the vertical rulers teaming up. And this is how that happened. The alliance of Germany and Turkey during World War I, where both the Sultan of the Ottoman Caliphate and Germany's Emperor William II wanted to keep the old feudal system of the vertical rule. So here you see the Turkish flag, the German flag, and this is apparently the Austrian-Hungarian flag. And here it says, im Kampf vereint. It means united in battle. Well, they, they didn't battle at all, you know. And here you see the Templars cross, the octagon. Even the Sultan has a couple of, a couple of octagons, eh? So this is Emperor William II, this is the Sultan, and this is Emperor Franz Josef from Austria. And here, you know, to see, you see them shaking hands, German with his, uh, with his the, this thing on the, on the helmet, little obelisk, the Turk, the Austrian, and a lion. And why a lion, you know? There are no lions in Turkey, neither in Germany or Austria. It's a symbol of Pharaoh's nobility. It's the Sphinx. And uh, so all these guys here, they wanted to keep their empires, you know. Well, he lost it, you know, uh, in 1924 when Turkey became a republic and went over to become a horizontal rule with Atatürk, the Freemason. But when he was still ruling, it was a vertical rule. He had a vertical rule in Austria. Uh, he had a vertical rule, you know. And th this also was leading to the um, to the First World War when the Archduke uh, Ferdinand, when he was shot, you know, by a Freemason. It was the Black Hand. So they wanted the Freemasons wanted to have the horizontal rule and. Um, and these guys, they want to have the vertical rule. On the other side, you got all the horizontal guys, you know, like France, America, or well, let's say England, you know. But England is a special case because of the order of the garter. They had to become a horizontal rule, otherwise um, all the royals would have ha had their heads uh, chopped off, just like in France, you know. So, and the people, you know, like Turks, and no Turk knew any German, you know, in the, and no German, ordinary people, no German person knew any Turk, you know, and, and you know, hardly any, any Austrians either. So it's not the people behind all these wars, you know, it's so obvious.
It's the masters and, you know, the lion. And we have to bleed for it. And this must stop. So again, another picture here where you can see the uh, the propaganda of those days. It says here in German, Drei Kaiser Bund. A bund is a bond. You know, it's the same word. It's an alliance. But the Germanic word or the Anglo-Saxon word is a bond. You know, alliance is like Latin. And Drei Kaiser, it means the uh, the three emperors. The German guy and uh, a grandson of uh, British Queen Victoria, of course. So the German pharaoh, Turkish pharaoh and the Austrian pharaoh, they had a bond because they wanted a vertical rule against the uh, hor hor horizontalers. And this is what the dumb slaves have to bleed and suffer for. This is why all American presidents have always declared that the USA will always be with the JJ Bays, always backing up the JJ Bays, because both the USA and the JJ Bays are horizontal rules of the Republic versus the Middle Eastern, predominantly vertical rule feudal caliphates and emirates and the american commoners believe that this alliance between the us and the jj bays is because of religion and that the jay walkers are the alleged good guys in the bible so the jay walkers say to themselves oh we must keep the Americans believe that we are God's chosen people, so they will continue to help us. And even the Muslims believe the U.S. Jaywalker Alliance is about religions. Nonsense! The J.J. Bays is America's little horizontal baby in the Middle East, in the middle of the vertical caliphate. That's all there is to it. And this is also why Hamas on October 7th, 2023, murdered 20 Muslim Arabs and taking five of them hostage, because this is neither a war about ethnicity nor about religion, but it is an internal war within Pharaoh's nobility in between the vertical rule and the horizontal rule, like two biblical brothers fighting with each other. By those biblical brothers, of course, I didn't mean the Philistines and the uh, and the Jaywalkers, but I meant the um, one pharaonic prince against another pharaonic prince. The first prince who gets everything, the primogenitor who gets the vertical rule, and the second, third, fourth, and fifth prince, etc., who wanted to make a horizontal rule. And that's why this guy here, the Hamas guy, he said, kill every person we see and come back. That was the order. And five Philistine Muslims were also abducted. And um, so even they, they say this isn't a religious war. But they don't know either what it's really about. Maybe the biblical story of Cain and Abel is just a reference to pharaonic princes fighting over rulership. Cain was the firstborn and primogenitor, therefore entitled to rule through the vertical rule, becoming the king pharaoh while Abel had to become a simple shepherd, similar to two poor Templars sharing one horse. Dear slaves, don't do their wars for them. Watch my video here, Warrior versus Soldier, to understand this. And here it's cut off, but I read it for you. It says, Mothers, raise your children as warriors. 
so the pharaohs can't snatch them and make soldiers out of them. I made it 12 years ago. You may also read it if you prefer. So this was the last part of it. And going even further back in history, does anyone really believe that this immensely powerful Roman Empire was founded by some Italians and their pizzas? The horizontal rule pharaohs of Upper Egypt, Perhet, White House of the NWO, horizontal republican rule, founded Rome, which became Europe's first horizontal rule of the Republic of Rome, with the Senate and senators ruling altogether in a so-called horizontal rule, as the politicians of Rome were ruling together at the same level in the Senate, as you can see here. Therefore, in the Senate, having the facies, meaning one for all and all for one, as one straw can be snapped, but not a whole bundle tied together, which cannot be broken. So this means the facies is a symbol for the horizontal rule, because there are many that are ruling instead of only one in a vertical rule. So here you see the facies, the Romans here, and it has an X on it because union is force. You know, where we go one, we go all, which is the same thing. And the United States Senate, they also have two facies in it. So, you know, one straw, you can break, you know, one corn like. But all together, you know, they're tied together with a leather rope here. It doesn't break. And that becomes a weapon, an axe, if, when you're holding together, which the, the people, the dumb slaves, they will never understand. But our masters, they fully understand this, and that's why they are victorious over the dumb slaves. So this became the way through which Rome became a great empire, set in place by the pharaohs of southern Egypt, called the heretic pharaohs, as historians falsely assume that the internal Egyptian war in between the northern Red House of Lower Egypt and the southern White House of Upper Egypt was about religion, which it wasn't. Just as they say today that the Gaza War is about religion, and in fact it isn't. The internal pharaonic war was about power and the ruling system of either vertically by a pharaoh or horizontally by several pharaohs in a senate. So here you can see the heretic pharaoh of the Perhet, Akhenaton, here as well. And this is when they invented God, or one monotheistic God, which is probably this here, or well, this is Aton. But there's only one God. That's why his name is Akhenaton. There's only one God. And that's what the historians believe it was all about. Because they found all the, the other gods being destroyed, you know, with a hammer. All the hieroglyphs destroyed of all the other gods. And so that's how they assumed it was about religion. But in fact, it wasn't. You know, there are no wars about religion, really. It's all about 
the power and the internal struggles within Pharaoh's nobility going on until this very day. Why else do you think that all these Roman gods have a perfect Egyptian equivalent, which you can read here. It's called the Interpretatio uh, Greca. And if I scroll down here, you know, you can see them all. Like, you know, the gods, Greek, Roman, Etruscan, Egyptian, um, etc. So, you know, like Jupiter, the Roman Jupiter is Amun. Justitia, the Roman Justitia is Ma'at. First, I, I, I say the, the Roman one and then the Egyptian equivalent. Lucifer is Horus. Venus is Isis or Hathor. Diana is Bastet. Apollo is Horus. Adonis is Osiris. Minerva is Night. Atlas is Shu. Saturn is Knum. Bellona is Sekhmet. Aurora is Tefnut. Pluto is Anubis. Sol Invictus is Ra. Vulcan is Ptah. Mercury is Tot, etc., etc. It cannot be otherwise. We're dealing here with the same people from ancient Egypt who founded the Roman Empire, taking their ordinary people of Egypt with them, who became the Italians. Whereas the Roman elite are pure pharaonic nobility, with all their demons, whom they call gods, and demons get mobilized by satanic rituals and blood sacrifices. This is how all the gods, you know, they got uh, discovered uh, anyway. It's all demon stuff. So he can read about it, you know. You know, they all have the same gods. And the Etruscans, they, they, they were worshipping all these pharaonic gods anyway. And they were already there, you know, the ancient Egyptians in the Etruscan-like area. So this is Interpretatio Greca, or Interpretatia Greca. Very important. Of course, when Rome was founded, the local Etruscans literally worshipped Isis and other Egyptian deities. Then Rome got destroyed by the northern barbarians. And later on in history, the Knights Templars had to reinvent the ancient pharaonic idea of a horizontal rule once again. So this is what the world looks like and is just as in pharaonic times of the two Egypts divided into a horizontal rule here on the left hand side, the White House, and a vertical rule, this one here, the Pertasser. And that has led to two world wars and will lead to a third one that can break out any moment because of these pharaohs ruling over humanity. So the name of this one here is the is the Per Het. It means the White House, having a white crown, like in America. That's why it's called the White House, where America is being ruled. And this one here, the red crown is called the Per Tasser. It means the red house. And what we see now, you know, we see like America versus Russia. Europe is also part of America after the Second World War. And um, if you look at Russia, it's the red house, you know, the communist. They got a red star. 
on their bonnet, on their, their hats, and on their airplanes and tanks, you know, a red star, just like China and North Korea. And all of those guys in the caliphate, or who want to have a caliphate, they're having all Russian and Chinese and North Korean weapons. And on the other side, the horizontal rules, they all have American weapons, like the Republic of the JJ Bays and the rest. So it's just as in Pharaonic times, it's white against the reds and the reds against the whites. Nothing has changed and this needs to stop. So here you see the red star on a Russian helicopter. Uh, this is a reference to the vertical red house of Pharaoh of Lower Egypt, the Pertasser. And Russia's dictatorship is a vertical rule. So here you see the flag of North Korea, the vertical dictatorship rule. Here you see the red star, and there's also a red star of China. Another vertical rule, you know, like camouflage as under communism, which it isn't, of course. This is all the red house, the Pertasser of Lower Egypt, and they had a vertical rule with an original pharaoh. So here you can see what that looks like. Here is the red house crown. So that's not a house to live in. It's a royal house, a dynasty. And this is also a dynasty. Don't you believe that Mr. Putin or Stalin or Mao Zedong or Kim Jong-un, that they are normal people, normal commoners? No, it's all nobility. It's all the nobility. And that's why they have the red house here, the, the red star of uh, the communist red star. But as I told you, it's not about communism and it's not about religion. That's all camouflage, you know, to, um, to unify the people under a, um, a um, common uh, denominator. Uh, that's what it's all about, you know, to... Um, identify so the people they can identify themselves with a symbol or you know so they are like one union you know like an uh, identitarian thing you know like all for one and all for and all for uh, one for, one for all this is what it's about you know this is egypt this here and this is the other side, the uh, the white crown of the White House. This is the Pert Het, it means the White House in Demotic Pharaonic. And it's a horizontal rule. It's the new Freemason Knights Templar system. But it's much older than that. Already in Upper Egypt, they had this. These were the heretic pharaohs. And it had nothing to do with religion. Just as today in the Gaza war, it has nothing to do with religion. It's the nobility. It's one pharaonic nobility. They want the caliphate and the vertical rule. On the other side, they want the, um, the republic, democracy, horizontal rule. But it's all pharaoh. And um, so this is the other side. This is the, the White House, the Perhet. So the, word is, the world is divided into the Red House and the White House, just as under Pharaonic times. You know, I mean, we have not progressed very much, did we now? So this is how the world is being divided at the moment. This is the Red House of Pharaoh, and this is the White House of Pharaoh, it even says so, you know. And um, and the Gaza war, you know, it is like Russia's proxy war. I mean, they are financing all the caliphate guys because, you know, they want to destroy the, um, the horizontal rule of the JJ base. So this is a vertical rule. It's a dictatorship with, uh, you know, one guy at the top. And it's not about communism or or religion. It's it's all about aristocratic rule. These are the Tsars, 
you know, and here you've got the other pharaohs. It's all nobility, you know, and this is a horizontal role. It has a little bit more freedom of speech, well, not very much, but um, um, I mean, it's it's the slaves, the commoners, they um, it's you know they don't matter really much. It's about the masters, the elite. You know, it's red against the white. And um, this is what it's all about. And Ukraine also, they wanted to have a horizontal rule. They don't want to have the vertical rule of these ones. I mean, I'm talking about the elite, the masters. And that's why we have these wars, you know. So here you got a whole setup for World War Three. And also World War One, World War Two, the Gaza War, the Ukraine War, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, you name it. It's in between the horizontal, the new system, the uh, per head of the White House, and the old pharaonic vertical rule, the feudal system of the Red House. That's what it's all about, the Reds against the Whites. So it needs a vertical war to stop all the horizontal wars in between the people. So we really need to stop these punks here, the red punks and the white punks. We desperately need to stop them. But, well, what can I do with you, with you, all your slaves? What can I do with you, eh? And this is why I decided to talk about what is forbidden to talk about by the laws of silence, making me, in fact, a traitor. But I see no other way. If not, the masters will eventually destroy all life on earth. I would just like to stop all this because it's useless making these videos. It's absolutely useless. I would just like to make music with my children. But look, the music is sinking away in this Swiss swamp.